Hi guys! So today I have been making charms, paper charms. Um, after watching Jessica at Two Silver Oranges, um, I think it was Saturday night, she did a live stream and she was making charms and I guess she's going to do several of these where she makes different types of charms. So this one was all paper charms and so I kind of got inspired and <clears throat> started working on some of my some of my own and just the last couple of days I've been making a bunch of them and I just I love how they feel because <laughs> they're like really lightweight and I love the sound that they make. They're, I don't know it's just very satisfying sensorily. <laughs> so um just wanted to show you like what I made. Um, I used a bunch of my punches. This is my favorite one to use. It's really easy on the hands, this design. Um, so I think I'm gonna buy some more of these. This is just a one inch circle. That's what these are. And I used mostly a file folder and punched out circles from that because the well I shouldn't say fire folder a manila folder you know one of these things um, and I glued two layers together I think these are well these are from the part that has two layers already anyway um, I glued a couple layers together so it's nice and sturdy and I used my art glitter glue I don't think a glue stick would hold as well so well definitely not as well as art glitter glue so I glued the two layers together and then I found little images that would fit um, like these are I think these are all from a couple of different children's books these two are from a reader um, and then these are all from, uh, I think it's from my Mother Goose book that I've used other pictures from before. Yeah, because I did some buttons with flowers like these during the Defemerember when we did button cards. Um, yeah, these are from that same book. So I had some, a couple of cool birds. And then for these, not this one, or this one. But these, I did another layer of diamond glaze, which I have in this bottle because it's easier to pour out of, but it is diamond glaze. Um, I want to try the triple thick that Jessica recommended, but I feel like I should use up my diamond glaze first. It's kind of annoying though because it gets these bubbles and you don't see them a lot of times until it's already dry. But I do really like the look, the the shininess. Oh, I gotta turn on my fancy light. That's why I put it on here. So you can see. There we go, okay. So yeah, I really like the shininess and the little bit of dimensionality. Uh, it's almost like a little or a big bubble on there. I don't think I'll do that with all of them. Uh, maybe just some of the circles. But like I, I also used this one, which turned out kind of littler than I was expecting, I guess. Yeah, I guess that's the right size, but these just seem really small. So I don't know. Well, I guess I found... I found flower images for those, for some of those. Um, so I had a, you know, a gardening book. Yeah, so those come out kind of nice. That, that might work um, with the diamond glaze. It's small enough. Because you don't want a real big area when you're doing the diamond glaze. Oh, I see part of my circle there. I didn't get any. I don't know if you can, like, do another layer. I'm not sure. I don't want to mess with it now. Um, 
Okay, so I did the stamps guarding book. Then I did some of these stars, and I just got this recently from that Make and Mend store that I told you guys about online. I'll put a link to it in the description box. Um, but I just used this one because I didn't want to use the smaller one this time. Anyway, so I, I did this star, and I like this star because it's, um, it's fat, you know? So there's a lot of room on it for an image. So I got these images all from this one story. I think it was about coyote. It was like a um, uh, Native American story, like how coyote uh, dreamed the heavens or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, it's got a bunch of southwestern animals in it, a gecko, um, a long-eared rabbit, a coyote, another rabbit. Um, and then I used on the back some of my coffee and green food coloring dyed paper for some of them. And then I used some uh, music paper from a, ooh, I think it was from a hymnal. Um, I thought those, those looked fun. And, um, so I will still punch, like these, oh yeah, I forgot. Um, I did put eyelets in these, small, smaller size eyelets, and used the, um, We Are Memory Keepers, uh, cruncher, eyelet cruncher thing. So this is the box I got my eyelets out of. These are the ones I got from yet another thrift store. Um, five bucks for this whole thing. I could not believe it. So those will last me a while, right? Um, so yeah, I put those in there and then I'm going to use the, um, the hole to put like a bulb pin in and make those charms for like the front of my book or even the middle, you know, like on the side of a page, um, in a journal. Those look fun too. And so I still need to punch these and put eyelets in them. And this whole pile still needs that, but, um, what else? Oh, I used this punch. I hate these punches. I, I got this from a thrift, a, little, a thrift store pretty cheap a while ago, but I really hate using these. It hurts your hands after a while. And if you want a, you know, specific spot, you got to put it upside down and then you got to punch it upside down, which I have to stand up to do. And the punch is... Um, cracked look at that on both sides from me pushing it down this way because i'm holding it up here uh so yeah i hate those i'm gonna get replacements i think um in this form because these are so much easier on your hands and they don't break so um I also, I don't know if I said this already, I put a layer of Mod Podge matte on these. Um, I don't know. I just felt like I needed a sealant. Um, I don't know if it really does because they're, it's not like I stamped it. But anyway, it makes it a little shiny, not too shiny. Um, and I think it just protects it better. And I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to put the diamond glaze on all of these. So I will at least put the Mod Podge on them. So that's what I need to do for some of these today. Oh, and I also used this, a square punch, which I don't know how large it is, but... It's a lever, so it's easier on your hands. And 
found some pretty pictures. This is from the same book that the Southwestern Animals came out of, a different story. These two came out of this uh, Victorian Victoriana calendar that um, my my mushroom buddy, <laughs> the woman who um, commissioned the mushroom stuff from me recently. Hi, Nadine. She saved this for me. She's like becoming one of my sources now for really fun stuff um, that she saves for me. So I, I used the pictures in here to find little circles, like that looks like a good one, um, and squares. These, I think this one came off right there. This one came off the Valentine's page. Um, this one came off this page, I think right over here, or no, down here. Anyway, off of this page somewhere. Um, so it's great. I mean, they're super fun pictures and they're really rich colors. So I will get a lot of use out of this calendar. So just a suggestion. Don't throw out your old calendars if you have fun pictures in them. Um, <laughs> what else? Oh, I did a couple just like sort of rectangular and then I um, rounded the corners, although this one got a little munched. And then I put tickets, on um, ticket parts on both sides. I thought they, they looked fun that way. And then some Mod Podge. And some eyelets. Yep. So. Okay. And there was one more punch I used. I used this one and cut um, the smallest tag, which you put a strip one and a half inches wide and, and fit it between these two little indentations and then I cut it to two inches long after I punched it um, <clears throat> and I've made five of those yeah so on one side I've got um, ledger paper green ledger paper and then on the other side right now I have this um, blank it's like it's called faux parchment paper and I got it from Amazon. This is what it looks like. It's really cool. I like it. So I have that on there, but I decided I want to put um, something else on it. So I thought I'd do that with you guys. Um, just to, hopefully this will be quick. I don't know. Sometimes I see that and it's like an hour later. <laughs> I finished but we'll see if I can do a little faster um, so I thought I would put mushrooms speaking of mushrooms on a couple of them because I have this digital that's um, from pink monarch prints one of my favorites um, and it's got a bunch of these little mushroom pictures and they're just a little bigger than this tag. So I have to punch some of it off, but I think I would still get a good amount. So I want to try that. Um, and then also I thought I would just do kind of a collage, sort of like this paper, um, which I think this is also from Pink Monarch Prints. Some of these are Christmas in there, but they're all collage-y, ledger -y papers. Okay, um, so, let me get the rest of these off. And really, I think I wanna take this book off. Whoops, just 
dropped the microphone. I hope that didn't make a horrible sound. <clears throat> um, let's see if I can use this. So. Okay, my brain's not working. From this cut edge. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Right. Two, one and a half. Oh, it's not that square. Dang it. I wish these squares were the inch marks, but they're not. They're centimeters. What? It is that okay? So I want the one and a half inch mark, which is almost on that square. Well, that's not gonna work. Oh. All right, <clears throat> let's try it this way. Let's look. sure it gets right between those there okay and then I can just cut it off can you hear my wind chime the wind is blowing pretty good out there tonight. Okay, good. I'm just gonna glue that right on and then we'll trim it after I glue it on. So, scrap paper. And you might notice this one looks a little uneven on the sides, like I got it. Um, see how this is shorter than that, but yeah, don't really notice that unless I point it out like I 
I just did. <laughs> so forget I ever said anything. Feels like I'll have to trim off a smidge on either side and then the bottom. Okay, that's fine. I'm just gonna, well, yeah, I can probably cut it. And there we go. Okay. So I think I will coat that with Mod Podge, but we'll wait until I got all of these done. Okay, let's pick another mushroom. And this looks like a good candidate because there's we've got some um, base up at the top there, so maybe I won't lose any of the mushroom. So let's do that one. Oh, gotta cover my glue. Okay, so and we'll just do that one. It'll be interesting to see where the hole gets to. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
losing my voice again. So I can check on the bottom to make sure I got the paper all the way up. And actually I can pull it down a little if I want. If I want to save some more of that mushroom. Still got a little bit of room. <clears throat> Hold it really good. There we go. Now we're not losing too much. Okay. There. <laughs> That's fun. Okay. That's enough of that. on those uh, glue. I need to even up that edge a little, but I can do that. Okay. So how's everybody doing? I'm filming this on the last day of January. And I've had enough of January, really. Glad to see the back of it. I just had a lot of migraines this month. I don't know why. Okay, that looks better. Actually, this I think needs a new plate. Let's use this one. Oh no, why did I do that? to cut it on the side. There. That's cute. Isn't that cute? I love it. There. That one's good. I 
I glued that on a little unevenly, but hey, it's done after all. It's not perfect. I think I'm not going to worry about that. I'll just ink it when I, uh, well, I'm going to ink it now. my podger. Where's my podger? There it is. Okay. This is so messy, no matter what. <laughs> okay, that one's good. That one's pretty good, so good. Ugh. Try not to get any lines, but it's hard. There, that's good. So I think what I'll do, um, is cut a one and a half inch strip from here. You know, I'll cover the whole strip, and then if I like how it looks when I punch it out, then I'll have I'll have enough to make a couple more. All right. So this is all just kind of AliExpress papers of various kinds. I want to really rip anything. I think I'll just cut it so they'll all be nice clean edges. And I will use glue stick for this because I'm going to use Mod Podge layer on top of it. So. this is such a mess. <laughs> this is my desk after I've been <clears throat> doing several projects 
and haven't really done a thorough cleanup yet. This is what it looks like, but it's my happy place. So the messier it is, the more happy times I've been having. I like this idea of doing tiny little collages with tiny pieces. I think I've been thinking about doing like a, um, a master board, but like this size, the size of this page <laughs> for tiny things. overlap and then just cut off the edges later so I've got a little tiny spot there which might get chopped off but that's okay um, see. I just love these these kind of ticket things that have lots of numbers and letters and different colors. I think they're really fun. about it too much. There. So I lined up those those two lines just for fun. <laughs> in the corner. Eh, maybe it'll get chopped off. Maybe it won't. That's okay. have to not be attached. You know? I mean, I have to attach this, but not be attached to it. <laughs> so that if it goes away, I won't be heartbroken. Does that make sense?
Well, I just got told it's dinner time, so I'm gonna have to tear myself away and then come back. But one more piece first. Hi guys, I'm back from dinner and it was delicious. <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna put a little music on here, why not? notes, not the words. I like that side better. like a little tiny strawberry plant. I'll do a close-up of this when I'm done so you can see it all. All the tiny pieces. So we just finished watching the Jeopardy Professors Tournament, which was really fun. Oh, I think this is a sticker. Yeah. Um, and I was commenting, this is probably more money than these teachers have seen in their lifetime. Because the winner won $100,000 plus the chance to win more in the Tournament of Champions. You can tell we watch Jeopardy a lot. <laughs> it's fun. 
But it was nice to see the teachers winning, you know. Getting paid what they should be paid. <laughs> And they were all from different parts of the country, different colleges. my glue stick in between cutting stuff drying out a little it's just so dry in this house right now because of winter and everything shut up and um, the heat is running all the time Sorry, lady. This piece of paper has this tiny row of tea kettles right there. I'm going to use that. Tiny tea kettles. How could you resist? Cut that over a little. Okay. 
Maybe I should cut up more than one piece at a time and then make a little puzzle out of them, fit them together. That would be one way to do this. Maybe now we can put a light bulb there. There's the tiny little compass. This is part of a sticker. It says the sea. This one says sea level. <laughs> it's part of the same set, I think. And there's the lady's head. And then number two, this little teeny piece says menu. the teapots. Aren't they cute? There's a light bulb sticker and then this little guy goes with that piece. <laughs> They're on the same piece of vellum that said groceries, something about groceries, and those two guys were, were on there. And I like this one. It says dinner and there's a fork. That ticket was for like a four course dinner. And this is like a piece of wood grain from a ticket. And that's it. Okay, so let's see what we get when we cut it up into just just two tickets. Then I'll have more left over. I'll have to make more. Okay, now I'm going to just give them a quick uh, layer of this Mod Podge. And I'm using a paintbrush because they're not completely flat. They do have layers, so that other silicone brush won't work as well. So, I'll just do a quick layer with this. Okay, so we've got these two that we collaged, and then we've got these three mushrooms, mushroom tag charms. <laughs> so, yep, and that is it for this video. So thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this and that you will make some charms of your own. All right, see you later. Bye.